All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of the Weekly Thruster. Um, I am redongo today, uh, but I do have a very, very special guest, um, one of our uh, pretty amazing, amazing members, Robert Barger. He's here to tell us uh, some really cool things about his story, his journey um, in this fitness thing that we've got going on. And uh, so, Robert, say hi to everybody. How's it going, Ergo? And, and the internet. Everybody from the internet is going to see this. Yeah. <laughs> we have a very wide world, yeah, worldwide reach. So millions and millions of people are going to get to know you. <laughs> yeah, but before I start, I think that that thing on your wall back there matches my hat. Yes, it does. What is that? <clears throat> the best team in the world. Best team in the world. Why? That's pretty cool. Boomer Sooners. I'm a big fan now. Just, I mean, you probably already know that. Yeah. This is now my favorite hat. Even though it has Nike on it, I haven't figured out how to get rid of that, but it's still my favorite hat. Oh, you don't like Nike? No. I'm a Reebok man. Everybody knows this. I couldn't tell. <laughs> anyway, um, so everybody's kind of gotten to know you a little bit because there's a picture of you on the whiteboard and um i'll put it up here uh hopefully everybody can kind of see this 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 picture that's been taped of you onto the whiteboard can you see i hope everybody can kind of see that uh, going on here yeah natalie scribbled that out but this is obviously you know we would not be showing natalie's pectorals <laughs> um right so this is uh this is your most recent photograph there um i wonder if everybody can get there we go there we go yeah that's not natalie that's that's robert um very impressive very very impressive um, yeah who who do we got going on here you got a little guest yeah that's robert yeah. <laughs> he got he got little abs. <laughs> He's got little abs. Oh. Very cool. Well, that's that's why I invited you on here to talk about your abs. Um, no, just kidding. But anyway, uh, I did want you to share a little bit about what's been your biggest contributor to your success, uh, to your progress that you've made over the last I don't know, say three six months. Been pretty at it for a little while now yeah just consistency coming in the gym i've been coming in probably five to six days a week five to six days a week yeah wow um so not the once every other week kind of thing no nope. that's not the way to do it if you're gonna do it you might as well go all the way you might as well go all the way so fantastic yeah you i have been very very consistent um, you've been a member of our committed club, uh, pretty much since the day you joined the gym. Um, that's where members who check into at least 16 classes, and that's only four days a week, um, get added to our committed club. And then, uh, we raffle off a prize, completely random drawing. Um, and you have actually been a, a pinnacle member of that club every single month. That, that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what else has um, contributed, uh, helped you out in this journey? Um, I don't know, just coming to the gym and just my family. My wife comes with me with our kids, so that's a big help. And then just the group that we work out with is just awesome. We all get along and have a good time. So you have fun at oh, yeah. the same time, right on. So um, is there anything do you think that you do differently than other people? Um, I would just say my nutrition. I've been doing the WAG program, so that's been helping out a lot. Oh, gotcha, right on. So yeah, you, you are definitely 
one of the members of our WAG program, Working Against Gravity. So tell us a little bit about that. What's that been like for you? It was difficult at first, but um, once you get in the groove, finding, our, finding all your micros and just hitting everything, it's really, it feels good. Like you've been working out, like you have more energy. Um, yeah. I just okay. don't get tired as easy as I would. I don't burn out. So that's always a plus. So, so it's helped your performance and obviously it's helped the, uh, the midsection there. Um, you know, we have the picture yeah. to prove it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed anything, any other changes since you've been uh, dialing in your nutrition? Uh, so <clears throat> my family, we have like high blood pressure that runs in our family. And um, I was on that medication for probably six years. And my doctor just pulled me off probably about two months ago. So that's really good. That's huge. And oh my gosh, that's a phenomenal story, you know, because we don't want everybody to be on medication. I, I, I feel doctors are very quick to prescribe yeah. prescriptions, you know, as the solution, but they never tell people, hey, maybe you should change your lifestyle a little bit. Maybe you should eat right, exercise, you know, do what humans are meant to do because um, they don't make any money doing that, I don't think. I'm not a doctor. I'm not sure, but um, giving you pills to help out your your blood pressure was probably much easier than telling you to weigh and measure your food or yeah. do crazy workouts five six days a week. Yep. Yeah, that's a big. Yes, so, I'm, I'm really happy about that because uh, that's one of the main reasons that I joined the gym is just to be healthier for my family and give an example to my kids of what hard work pays off, so. Yeah, and I, I, I see the kids every day, um, and little Bubba's, I heard him a little bit earlier. Um, I mean, if you think about it, you have a full-time job, you work yeah. other jobs, you coach football, you have a little guy and twins who yeah. just turned two years old. You kind of have every excuse in the book to order pizza every night or live off a of taco bell or skip workouts or i mean think about it um that's a lot of pressure that's a lot of stress uh but you haven't let it hold you back no not at all because it's just like i said it's fun coming into the gym and it's a release i guess what yeah and you're me saying and you're setting a pretty pretty good example for those kids as well right because what, what happens the second we, we unstrap the twins from their uh, prison stroller, <laughs> they go out and they grab a PVC pipe and start trying to do snatches or hang on the rings. And, and uh, they're like, they just want to work out like that. They're getting really cool. good at burpees. They are very good at burpees. Yes. Yeah. And screaming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah. That, that's, to be honest with you, that's one of the favorite parts of, my day is watching them scream at you. Um, and it's pretty cool. And they're cheering for mom too, at the same time. Fantastic. Are so they let's, for you today too? Yes. I, I pulled the, the prison stroller over by my rower for a little inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's close it out. Um, what are top three tips you can give someone Maybe they want to start look, looking into eating better. They want to get fitter. They want to get healthier. They want to get Rob's abs and get their picture up on the whiteboard. Um, what's, what's three tips you can get them? Um, I would say show up. Just be consistent in showing up. And then everything else pretty much falls where it, went, or falls where it may. Um, if you show up, you're going to feel better and you're going to want to eat better. So then that'll go back into your kitchen so you eat better and um, just staying on top of it. Very cool. <clears throat> so are there days <clears throat> that you just don't want to come in? Like you roll yeah, out of bed and you're like, yeah, some days I don't feel like. Just like, I don't really, no. <laughs> no. So no. that kind of goes away after yeah. a little while. 
Uh, but like, I guess every once in a while, it's hard to come in. But once you get in, as long as you like get into the warm up, then after that, you're good to go. But just get to the warm up. Get to the warm up. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I think I am personally inspired by you. I know the rest of the four o'clock class is. I know Natalie's jealous of your abs, um, and you know I think the whole gym is as well but congratulations on getting off that medication um that's easily going to add 20 30 years to your life if i were to guess hope so fantastic so <laughs> right on well thanks for coming on and uh sorry we didn't get the twins on here where is bubba nearby yeah. does, does he want to say goodbye yeah, <clears throat> yeah, he's over there. yeah the twins go to bed at seven so it's kind of late for them. Bye. Hey, Bubba, what do you want to say to all the uh, people who want to be just like your dad? Work hard for Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Work hard for Jesus. <laughs> okay. You work out for God. <laughs> right on. And I think he had some little spaghetti on his face, too. That's probably. <laughs> That's cool. Is he wearing shoes? No shoes. No, of course not. He's got socks on. <laughs> right up. Well, thanks for coming on, Rob. And uh, no we'll see you in the gym. We'll see all you other guys in the gym as well. So if you have any questions for Rob, hit him up. He loves to talk. And yeah. uh, if you ask him to, you know, he will. He will. No, we'll catch you guys next week on Thruster. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks guys.